do this so and be here so the main thing about this class is uh, like breathing but we're gonna also exercise i'm gonna look this way because like you guys are here i want to see if you guys want to like keep the video so i can see you guys and not like correct the form feel free to keep the video on and uh, let's start with the breathing um and every moment you do try to use the, the correct breathing so it's the basic of this class because it's gonna strengthen the deepest abdomen muscle the one that holds the baby on in uh, uh during pregnancy and uh, after pregnancy is the one that you have to like strengthen again so find a comfortable position doesn't matter if you lay or if you lay on one side or uh, standing or sitting just make sure to um when you inhale fill up your abdomen with air try not to use your chest so as you inhale make your belly big and then as you exhale um a simple way to say is uh, like close your sphincters like when you stop yourself to go to the bathroom so close your sphincters lift up your pelvic floor and draw your abdomen in the whole abdomen starting from your lower abdomen all the way up not just the belly button don't just that the whole abdomen so as you inhale again expand your abdomen with air try not to use your chest try to bring the air straight from to your abdomen and then as you exhale close your sphincters lift up your pelvic floor and draw your abdomen in so try to use this breathing through the whole entire class there are some exercises that you might do like uh, faster so i advise to hold your abdomen in but i'm gonna tell like everything through the class let's start with some stretching so we can start practicing the breathing uh, you guys are gonna need a set of weights that's it for today do you guys have it if not you can use water bottles or uh, books or uh, whatever you have if you okay everybody ready okay so let's start all fours so from here cat cow inhale as you arch your back and exhale as you round so start practicing the breathing inhale arch fill up your abdomen with air stretch your abs exhale round close your sphincters lift up the pelvic floor draw your abdomen in again inhale arch your back fill up your abdomen with air and then exhale close your sphincters lift up the pelvic floor abdomen in inhale again arch exhale round let's do one more inhale up exhale round now lift up your right arm inhale exhale bring your arm, arm across inhale up exhale across let's do last one inhale up exhale down let's switch side left arm up open your chest inhale exhale all the way down inhale up again exhale down and let's do last one inhale up exhale down now from here toes together knees apart child pose stretch your arms in front of you you can move your hips side to side back to all fours uh plant your um pack your hips and try to bring your heels to the floor so downward dog and take little steps try to stretch your calves and hamstrings keep breathing now bend both knees walk with your arms to your feet 
Relax your head, say yes, say no, release all the tensions in your neck and shoulders. And roll up slowly, slowly. Now rotate your shoulders back. And forward. And let's start. So we do 40 seconds work and 20 seconds workout. So let's start with your weight. So from here, soften in your knees, drop your table. So keep your spine in a neutral position. Hands 90, uh, arms 90 degrees angle. So inhale, exhale, chest press. So inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. So try to do the breathing. So we are gonna do simple movements so you can practice the breathing and still you're gonna work the whole body. So inhale as you open, exhale, close, lift up and draw your abdomen in as you close. Take your time, take a big inhale and a big exhale, breathe out all the air and really engage your abdomen. So even if we're working like chest and upper body, you are always working your abdomen as well. So inhale, open, exhale, close, lift up and drain. Try to keep your elbows in line with your shoulders. Keep going, I'm gonna watch you guys. And really, you should see your abdomen moving. So as you open, inhale, big belly. As you exhale, close, lift up, and drain. Okay, and stop. Now, bicep curl. So again, soften your knees, drop your table. Inhale, exhale, bicep curl, calf raise. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Like right now, the most important part is like practicing the breathing. We are still moving, but if you need to stop and uh, get the breathing first, then you add the movement. So inhale as you go down, expand your abdomen with air, and then exhale, close, lift up and draw in as you curl up with your arms. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Let's do two more. And last one. Very good. Now, now, now. Bend your knees, push your glutes back, rotate your shoulders, and keep your elbows up and in. Inhale, exhale, tricep kick back. Inhale, exhale, extend your arms. Make sure to bring your hands higher than your hips. So hinge forward 45 degrees angles, keep your back flat. Very good. If your lower back bothers you somehow, Bend your knees more, sit back with on your glutes. Engage your glutes, then inhale, exhale, extend your arms. Inhale, exhale, extend. Try to work your triceps, the back of your arms. Inhale, exhale, extend. So remember, as you inhale, fill up your abdomen with air. Try not to use your chest, and then you say exhale. Start from your pelvic floor. So focus on your pelvic floor, close your sphincters, lift up and draw your abdomen in. Let's do one more and stop. Very good. Now, stay in the same position. So bend your knees, push your glutes out. This time we're gonna roll, so elbows up and in, like this. And reverse fly. So arms slightly bent, opening on the side. So first you bring it up, and then on the side, up, on the side, yes. Very good. So inhale as you go down, exhale as you bring your arms up. Inhale down, exhale open on the side. So inhale, exhale up, inhale down, exhale open. Squeeze in between your shoulder blades as you bring your arms up. We are working your shoulders, your back muscles, Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale open. 10 more seconds. Focus on your abdomen. Especially as you exhale, close your sphincters, lift up your pelvic floor, and draw your abdomen in. Like when you zip up your pants from your lower all 
the way up. And stop. Okay, now. Um, let's do, let's stick, stay on your um, knees. Actually, let's keep the weight. From here, keep your arms straight. You can always drop the weight if it's too much. So from here, ears in line with your shoulders, in line with your hips. You go back and go all the way up. So inhale up and exhale as you go down. As you go down, tuck your pelvis, engage your glutes, abdomen in. Inhale, expand your abdomen, exhale, go back, tuck your pelvis, abdomen in. Try not to arch your lower back. So hips in. And let's start. So inhale, exhale all the way down. Inhale. Exhale back. You can always drop the weight if it's too much. Inhale, exhaling back. Use your abdomen. So you should see or feel your abdomen moving. So as you go up, fill up your abdomen with air. And as you go back, close your sphincters, lift up your pelvic floor, abdomen in, draw your abdomen. Yes, perfect. Yes, very good, Ciel, and very good, Zoe. I'm sure Mario and Morgan are doing great. I just cannot see you. <laughs> Keep going, let's do two more. Inhale, exhaling back. Last one, inhale, exhaling back. Okay, now we are gonna do this sequence one more time. So let's stand up, chest press. So from here, softening your knees, drop your tailbone, so spine in a neutral position. Inhale, exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Try not to lean back. Try to be like on a straight line. And let's start. So inhale, exhale, open. Use your abdomen, your breathing. Inhale, expand your abdomen with air. Exhale, close, lift up and draw in. Keep going. Very good. Elbows are in line with your shoulders, so try not to drop it down or don't keep it too high. Relax your shoulders, open and close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Five more seconds. Let's do last one. And stop. Okay, now again, bicep. So again, softening your knees, drop your table. Inhale, exhale, bicep curl, calf raise. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. So first find your breathing and then add the movement. So inhale down, exhale up. Start focusing on your pelvic floor as you exhale. So close it, lift it up, and draw your abdomen in. Sorry, I keep repeating the same things, but it's very important to protect like all the superficial muscles, your lower back. Very good. Keep going. And stop. Okay, now keep the weight, bend your knees, push your glutes back, back flat, rotate your shoulders back, elbows in, press it, kick back. So inhale, exhale as you extend. And let's, yes, keep going. Try to hinge, uh, hinge forward like 45 degrees angle, look straight um, below you, don't strength your neck, straight, yes, strength your neck. So inhale, exhale, extend. Inhale, exhale, extend. Try to keep your weight on your heels. So you know you're using more your glutes than your lower back. So you don't get hurt. Okay, use the breathing. Inhale, breathe the air straight into your abdomen. Expand your abdomen. Exhale, close, lift up, and draw in. Very good. And stop. Okay, now stay in the same position. We're gonna do again rock, so elbows up and in. 
a reverse fly. Open on the side. Sweat your back and let's start. So bend your knees. Push your glutes out. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale on the side. Very good. Open your arms on the side. Yes. And keep your elbows in as you pull back. Yes. Perfect. And use your abdomen. Inhale. Expand your abdomen with air. And exhale. Close, lift up, and draw in. Let's do one more. And stop. Very good. Now, last exercise of the sequence. On your knees. If your knees bother you, you can roll your mat. Hands in front of you. Oh, and I didn't say if you guys want to put like some your own music, that is fine. <laughs> so from here, inhale, then exhale, lean back, body in a straight line, we have the ears in line with your shoulders, with your hips, and up. Inhale, exhale, lean back. Engage your glutes, your thighs, and your abdomen. So very good. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and lean back. Inhale, tuck, squeeze your glutes, engage your thighs, and lean back. Yes, very good. So body is on a straight line. Here, in line with your shoulders, in line with your hips. Inhale, exhale, go back. Draw your abdomen in. Don't let it pop out. If you're very, I mean, I know it's silly saying don't let it pop out because you guys are praying, but try to draw it in. Let's do it two more. And last one. Very good. Okay, now let's stand up. If you need to take a little break, a sip of water, feel free. We're gonna start the lower body sequence. So stand up, feet wider than hips, and externally rotating. Bring your arms over your head, elbows close to your ears. So as you go down, bend your elbows, extend, bend and extend. Try to go down on a straight line. So it's like you're sliding down. It's not a squat. So it's not, you don't push your glutes back. You go down, you just open your knees on the side and up. Use your inner thighs, your glutes and inhale as you go down, exhale as you go up. So inhale down, Exhale up, keep your elbows in. We're working triceps as well. Inhale down, exhale up. Feet are externally rotated, very good. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep going. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep your elbows in close to your ears and use your glutes to come up and inner thighs. Inhale down, exhale up. Let's do two more. And last one. Very good. Now, now, now. If you need to hold on to something, it's fine. If not, right leg. I should not, let's do side lunge. Side lunge. So step on your right with your right leg, extend your left. Come up, leg raise. We do one leg first. Up, leg raise. Yes. Let's start. So make sure your knee is 90 degree angle. Don't let it pass your toes. So more than pushing your knee forward, push your glutes back, like if you're sitting down. And side raise. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Try to use the breathing. Take your time, do it slow, inhale down, exhale up, close, lift up and draw in. Let's do last one. And let's do the other side. And you put the timer. Again, now left leg, step on the side, bend your knees, leg raise. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Yes. 
use your abdomen. There's not really like harmful um, exercises as long as you engage your core properly. Inhale down, exhale up. Let's do last one and stop. Very good. Now, now, now. Weight on your shoulders. So squat, up and shoulder press. Squat down, up and shoulder press. Make sure as you squat, okay, let's start. As you squat, keep your weight on your hips, push your glutes back, open your chest, and press up. So inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. And as you come up, close your fingers, lift up your, lift up your pelvis floor, abdomen in, engage your glutes, tuck your pelvis. Very good. Inhale down, exhale up. Try to keep your feet parallel, so pointing straight. So we work glutes and hamstrings, because if you keep your feet wider, we work other kind of muscles. Okay, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Let's do last one and stop. Very good. Now, all fours. Also here, keep your spine in a neutral position. So don't uh, arch your lower back. Take your pelvis a little. So from here, stay strong on your abs. Inhale, exhale. Lift the leg on the side. I'm gonna be here, maybe you can see better. Lift on the side and down. Lift on the side and down. So keep your foot flex. It's a small, small movement. Let the movement start from your glutes and keep your body um, stable. So don't lean on the side to uh, just to um, bring your leg up high. Stay like in your all fours and just Lift up a little, just enough to feel your glutes working. Inhale, exhale, open. Inhale, down, exhale, open. Inhale, down, exhale, open. Take all the time, do it slow, but use the correct breathing. Inhale, down, exhale, open. And let's switch side. So from here, inhale, exhale, open. Same thing, inhale, down, exhale, open. And take time to breathe out all the air as you lift up your legs. Very good. Stay strong on your arms, relax your shoulders, push the floor away from you with your arms. Very good. And use your breathing. So inhale, expand your abdomen with air, and exhale, draw in. And stop. Okay. Now, from here, if you need to hold on to something, like the back of a chair or something, it's fine. You're gonna step on a lounge and come up. Alternate legs, then step on lounge and up. Just make sure your knees are 90 degrees angle and press through your heel to come up and use your glutes. Keep your upper body straight, so don't lean forward as you go down. Keep your upper body straight, down, and push up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. If you need to hold on to something, feel free. It's better that you keep a good balance and good form. So inhale as you go down, exhale as you push, push yourself up. And try to use your glute to come up. Let's do two more. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, and stop. Let's do last exercise for the lower body. Again, squat and bring your heel to your glutes. So squat and butt kick, squat, butt kick. So this is kind of like low impact cardio, so we work like on everything, inhale down, exhale, butt kick. Then to bring your heel to your glute without arching your lower back. So always start in, raise your leg. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale up. 
Very good. Try to keep your weight on your hips as you squat, push your glutes back. You should feel the movement 90% of your on your glutes and hamstring, not too much on your quads. And stop. Okay, we are gonna do this one more time, the sequence, then we do some ups and we stretch. So again, use your weights again, arms over your shoulders, step. Yes, with your legs wider, feet um, externally rotated. So go down, up, extend your arms. Go down, bend, exhale, up, extend. Remember, slide down, don't push your glutes back. So inhale down, exhale up. Press out with your knees as you go down. So inhale down, exhale up, use the breathing. Inhale down, extend close, lift up and draw in. You can do it as low as you need, as long you use your abdomen. So inhale down, fill up your abdomen with air. Exhale, close, lift up and draw in. Very good. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep your elbows close to your ears and stop. Very good. Now, again, Side lunge, you can drop your weight. Right leg, step on the side, come back, side raise. Step on the side, side raise. And let's start. Inhale, exhale, up. Inhale, down, exhale, up. So inhale, down, exhale, up. Very good. It's a small, small movement, even when you raise your legs, just let's start the, move, the movement from your glute, contract your glute, and raise your leg. Inhale down, exhale up. And use the breathing. Let's do last one. And let's switch side. Okay, left leg, step on the side, up, Side raise, step on the side, up, side raise. Very good. Use the breathing. Inhale down, exhale, close, lift up, and draw in. Try not to use your chest, use your abdomen to breathe. And try when you step on the side, knee 90 degree angle, don't go over your toes. Very good. Inhale down. Exhale up. Let's do two more. And last one. Very good. Okay, okay. Now, weight on your shoulders. Again, squat, shoulder press. Squat, shoulder press. So make sure, again, weight on your heels as you squat. Push your glutes back. And shoulder press come up. Very good. Try to keep your feet parallel, so point is straight this time. Sit back like you're sitting on a chair and rise with your arms up. Inhale down, exhale up. Use your breathing. Inhale, no, don't use your chest. In, expand your abdomen, exhale, close, lift up and draw in. Like if, if you're hugging your belly with your abdomen as you exhale. Very good. Keep going. Push your glutes back. Yes. And stop. Now again, all fours. From here, spine in a neutral position. Lift up the leg on the side and close. Inhale, close. Exhale, open. Inhale, close. Exhale, open. So look just in between your hands, so you keep your head on a straight line, your spine on a straight line, inhale, exhale, open, inhale, close, exhale, open, keep going. Very good. 
and try to use the breathing again. Inhale, expand, exhale, close, lift up, and draw in. Very good. Let's do last one and then we switch up. Okay, I will switch. So again, inhale and exhale as you bring your leg up. Very good. It's a small, small movement. You don't need to raise your leg too high. Keep your hips stable. Open your hip and engage your glutes. 10 more seconds. Inhale, exhale, open. Let's do two more times. And last one. Okay. Now again, if you need to hold on to something, feel free. From lunges, so step forward, come up, alternate legs. So right and left, right and left. Just make sure your upper body is on a straight line as you go down. Knees are 90 degrees angles. And inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. So try to tap your pelvis a little. Don't arch your lower back. As you go down, don't push your abdomen out. Try to stay straight on a straight line. Let's do it two more times. And last one. Okay. Now last exercise of the sequence. Squat and raise your, bring your heel to your glute. So squat and kick. Squat and back kick, yes. So feet are parallel, try to keep your feet straight. Sit down as low as you can. Inhale, exhale up. So push your glutes back, open your chest, and kick, and kick. Inhale down, exhale up, yes. Very good. Try not to arch your lower back as you kick back. So don't do this. Like, just tuck your pelvis, abdomen in, and raise your feet. Yes. Very good. That's the last one. And stop. Okay. If you guys need to take a little break and drink a sip of water, then we start like the abdomen session and we stretch. We're almost done. How are you guys feeling? Perfect, very good. <laughs> okay, okay. So, if you guys have a, like a couch where you can put your shoulder on, or a, like the, the edge of the bed, or something where it's stable where you can put your shoulders on, and do like a glue bridge or a hip thrust. So from here, inhale, exhale, lift up your hips. Inhale down, exhale, close, lift up, and draw in. Okay, so inhale as you go down, and when you come up, tuck your pelvis first, and then bring your hips in, your glutes in, uh, up. So inhale down, exhale up. Your feet should be in line with your uh, knees as you come up. So inhale, exhale, it's like a tabletop. Inhale down, look in front of you, exhale up, look up. Try never arch lower back. So always tuck your pelvis as you exhale up, engage your glutes, and then release down like one vertebra at a time. Inhale down, exhale, close, lift up, draw in, bring your hips up, yes. Inhale down, close, lift up, and draw in up. Let's do two more. And stop. Okay, now. All fours. If we, um, we step back on a, actually, let's do hover. So 
So from here, point your feet, lift up your knees a couple inches off the floor. So this is one modification that you can just do. If you want more challenge, raise your knees, step back on a plank, step back to over. So find your modification, whatever feels good for your body. So you can be here, inhale, exhale, lift your hips a couple inches on the floor, and down, or raise your knees, step back on a plank, go back to hover, knees down. Or you can stay up the whole time, so back to plank, hover, back to plank, hover. Choose your modification and let's start. Just make sure you raise your knees like a couple inches off the floor. So your hips stay in line with your shoulders. Don't raise your knees too much, if not your glutes go up and that's not what we want. So inhale, exhale, lift up, draw your abdomen in. Or inhale, exhale, lift up, inhale, exhale, step back to plank. Inhale, hover. Exhale, plank. Inhale, hover. Keep going. Five more seconds. Let's do one more time. And stop. Very good. Now, from here. So sit, hold on to your outer thighs. Sit with your back straight. Inhale here. Exhale, lean back but pull your abdomen in as you exhale back. Go as far back as you can, and then come up. Inhale, exhale, lean back, draw your abdomen in, and come up. You can even put a pillow or a blanket behind or roll your mat behind your back if you feel better. Don't go too far back, like go as long as, you, as soon as you feel your abdomen working, then come up. And make sure you inhale as you come up. Exhale, make a C curve with your abdomen, tuck your pelvis, and exhale as you go down. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, close, lift up, and draw in. Inhale, exhale, close, lift up, and draw in. Let's do two more. And last one. Okay, now swing back your leg, side plank. So again, from here, back to plank, you can bring your left knee down, open, right arm up, side plank. Back to plank, you can bring your right knee down, side plank, opposite direction. If you want more challenge, straight plank, Side plank up, inhale center, exhale plank. Find your modification. If not from here, drop your left knee, side plank on your right. Back to center plank, right knee down, rotate left arm up. Find your modification and start. So if you are on a plank, on a straight plank, just make sure you engage your glutes, your abdomen, if you decide to keep your knees down, that's perfect. Just make sure you twist all the way, look out as you extend your arm. That's very good. Yes, keep going. So inhale, exhale, side plank, rotate. Inhale, exhale, side plank. Inhale, exhale, up. Inhale, center, exhale, side. And stop. Now, on your elbows. So try not to sink in your shoulder. Open your chest, press down with your forearms. If you can, lift up both legs. Okay, and then you're gonna extend and bend like a bicycle. If it's too challenge, Keep both feet down, extend one leg, bring it down. Extend the other, bring it down. If you, if you um, have enough strength to hold your abdomen down and control your abdomen, just do a bicycle. 
Very good. So inhale, exhale. Do it slow. Use your abdomen. Or modification, extend your right leg and down. Inhale, exhale, extend. Inhale, down. Find what works best for you. Inhale and exhale. Try to stay on your tailbone. So um, tuck your pelvis and use your breathing. If you feel, if you see your abdomen popping out, just bring it back in. Try to press with your lower back on the floor. Keep going for three, two, and stop. Okay, now last exercise, all fours again. So from here, extend right arm, left leg, all the way down, opposite side, inhale, left arm, right leg. Just make sure you stay up and balance for a little longer, breathe out all the air. So inhale down, exhale, extend opposite arm and leg, breathe out all the air, in your abdomen, and bring it down. Inhale, exhale, extend, try to reach as far as you can from your fingers to your toes, and keep going. Take some time to stay up and balance. Really breathe out all the air, engage your abdomen, close, lift up, and draw in. Let's do last one. And stop. Okay, now we do this sequence again, and then we stretch. Okay, so again, do bridge and uh, actually hip thruster. So place your shoulders on a chair, on the couch, on the edge of the bed, wherever you have a stable surface. So from here, hips down, inhale, start tucking your pelvis, exhale up, tabletop. Inhale down, look in front of you, bring your hips down, extend, round, up, look up. So inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Try to keep your feet in line with your knees. And to use your glutes more than your quads. So as you go down, roll down one back over the time, and then roll up, tuck your pelvis, abdomen in, squeeze your glutes. Keep going. Let's do three more times. Inhale, exhale, come up. Let's do last one. And stop. Okay, now again, all fours. Point your feet, inhale, exhale, cover your knees a couple inches of the floor. Or modification, inhale, step back to plank, Back to hover, find your modification and let's start. Just inhale down, exhale over your knees. Inhale down, exhale over your knees. Inhale, exhale back to plank if you decide that you want to do the full uh, like sequence. So inhale, exhale up, inhale, step back to plank. Inhale, back to hover. Exhale, back to plank. Inhale, back to hover. Or inhale down, exhale, cover your knees. Just a couple inches of the floor. Yes, very good. And stop. Okay, now sit on your table, make kind of a C curve with your abdomen. Hold on to your outer thighs, actually, rotate your shoulders back, open your chest, then inhale. Here and then extend, tuck your pelvis and lean back as much as you can. And then come up. Inhale up, exhale, close, lift up and draw in. Don't go too, too far back, just a little bit, just enough to engage your abdomen. Inhale, exhale, close, lift up and draw in. 
Inhale, exhale, close, lift up and draw in. Try to keep like stay on your table, especially as you lean back around your pelvis. And let's do last one. Okay, now, now, now. Side plank. So again, you can start from here. One knee down, open your chest, side plank. Back to plank, right knee down, left arm up, side plank. Let's start. Find your modification, yes, or you can do a full plank and side plank. Inhale down, exhale up. Or keep your knees down, rotate side plank, back to center, rotate side plank. Keep going. Belly Sierra, Belly Zoe, good form. And Mary Morgan, I'm sure you're doing very well. Keep going, yes. So inhale and exhale as you turn on the side. And stop. Okay, now on your elbows. Again, try to tuck your pelvis, abdomen in, stay open, open your chest. Again, you can leave your feet down, extend one leg at a time, or if you can bring your legs both up, bend and extend, bend and extend. As long as you can connect to your abdomen, choose your modification. So inhale, Exhale, extend. Inhale, exhale, extend. Do it as low as you need. You can keep your feet down. Exhale, extend. Inhale, down. Exhale, extend. Just as you exhale, press down with your lower back. Close your sphincters. Lift up your pelvic floor. Draw your abdomen in. Really work your TVA, the deepest abdomen muscle, the one that Keeps everything in to avoid or, or prevent uh, like diastasis right by the one that the superficial muscles separate. So we have to strengthen the deeper core muscles. And stop. Okay, last exercise, all fours. So again, extend your right arm, left leg, inhale down. Exhale, close, lift up and draw in. Take your time to breathe out all the air, stay up and balance, and down. Alternate arms and legs, and let's start. Very good, reach from your hands to your feet, foot. Very good. Extend your leg. Engage your glutes as you extend your legs. Let's do it two more times, one each side. And stop. Very good. Let's take a nice stretch. So we are already here. Separate your knees. Open um, toes together. Try pose. So just stay here. Place your forehead on the mat. Relax, breathe. Try to breathe your to, to bring your heart rate back to normal, and keep practicing the breathing. So, inhale, fill up your abdomen with air, and then as you exhale, close your sphincters, lift up your pelvic floor, draw your abdomen in. Reach far in front of you with your arms. And just relax and breathe. Release all the tensions. Relax all your muscles. Now work with your arms on your left. So you stretch your right upper body, your right legs. Back to center. Work with your arms on your right. Mm -hmm. 
back to center. Now bring your knees, hips feet apart. Raise your hips. Yes, perfect. Now make circles with your hips. So from here, bring your hips on your left. Go all the way down to your heels on your right, back to center. And keep going, same direction. So left, all the way down to your heels, right, back to center. That's the last one. And let's switch side. So now on your right, all the way to your heels, left, center. Right, heels, left, and center. Let's do one more. Inhale and exhale. Okay, now extend, stay in the same position. Extend your arms in front of you, but this time keep your hips up high. And try to bring your chest down and your chin down, but look in front of you, don't look down. So really press your chest down, try to open your shoulders and keep your hips up high. Okay, come back to center. Now let's sit with your legs. Actually, legs straight, bend your right leg, press on your right knee with your hand, and the left arm up. Inhale, exhale, lean forward. Try not to round your back. So lengthen your back, lean forward without rounding your back, and try to reach to your knee or shin or toes, wherever you, you feel. And uh, press down on your right knee. And keep breathing. Try to keep your chest open, back straight, and lean forward. You should feel a stretch on your calves and hamstring and open opening on your right hip. Now bend your left leg, try to cross your right ankle to your left knee. And you should feel a stretch on your right glute. If you need more stretch, bring your feet closer to you. You can move your legs side to side. Try to keep your back straight. So open your chest. And the other side. So now extend your right leg, bend your left knee, press on your right knee, inhale, extend, lean forward without rounding your back, and reach to your knees, shins, or toes. Now bend your right leg, cross your left ankle on your right knee, open your knee, and you should feel a nice stretch on your left glute. Keep both glutes down. If you feel you need more stretch, you can bring your legs closer to your abdomen, your chest, and keep your chest open. Okay, release, now sit with your legs separated. Okay, to push back with your glutes. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lean forward again without rounding your back. Back to center, right forearms on your right inner thigh, open your chest, look up.
Inhale back to center, exhale the other side. And keep using the breathing. Okay, back to center. If you're comfortable in this position, stay like this. If not, find a comfortable position. Right and use the weight of your arm to stretch your neck. Look in front of you first, relax the opposite shoulder. Now look down and on the side and do the same. Use the weight of your arm to stretch your neck. So if you guys can practice the breathing, you don't need to exercise, you don't need to stop, even when you are walking or doing your things, try to practice the breathing because it's working like to strengthen your deeper abdomen muscle, just the breathing. So if you can practice it, that would be awesome. So back to center, now bend, that's one on the other side, look in front of you first, so use the weight of your left arm to stretch your neck, relax your opposite shoulder, then look down and on the side and do the same. Now both hands behind your head, move side to side. If you have any tension or pain, just stay there and stretch it. Now make circles with your head, slowly, slowly, do both directions. Now take a big inhale and exhale and we're done. Yeah. How are you guys feeling? 